was uh, watching the Occupy Wall Street from the very first day that it happened. He read about it in the Ad Busters magazine and knew about it weeks before it ever happened. And so we were anticipating uh, to see what would happen. And of course, through watching that and watching the protesters being <coughs> abused brutally with the police on the very peaceful protest, I started feeling like somebody locally needs to be able to show that well, like it affects us here as well and that uh, we can stand in solidarity with the movement and have our voices heard and uh, to have a local event I just felt like it would be more empowering and a more of a community building force where we could all get together and see who are the like-minded people in our community and what we can do locally to make a difference. Yeah, looking for some positive change globally. It's happening in hundreds of cities across the world, and there are thousands of citizens worldwide joining on this specific day. But it's been happening globally from long before it ever started on Wall Street. We kind of, North America has kind of taken a bit of inspiration from the across the world that have let their voices actually make change and to see citizens make change effect I have children that have, have to grow up in this world and I hope to have grandchildren and I hope that it's a healthy environment oh. <laughs> I hope that it'll be a healthy world for them to be in and that they won't have to struggle for food to be in equality so much inequality in terms of wealth, opportunity, inequality in terms of quality of life. I think we've totally lost capacity, totally lost the capacity for ordinary people to control the agenda in our country. No, I think I, mean, I, think, I think it's important that wherever we are, that we stand up and learn more about sort of the, the inequality, learn how our economic system is working, how the money supply is created, like there's so much, I mean there's just so much to learn I think about how we can really change the system. Um, I think that's what a lot of the gatherings are for, like for people to get together and learn from each other, rather than sitting and watching TV and kind of getting numb, I think we've got to end our passivity and become more informed. The Colton Ranger says it all. He's the conversion kit to the new idealism. There are different ways to, you know, to, to look at running economy from the top down, or you look at running finance, you know, uh, the economy, you know, global finance. I, I, I think that sometimes, you know, maybe we should look at uh, diversifying how we view what, what can economics is about. You know, um, now right now, yeah, Girl Harlem Brundtland, she was the Prime Minister of Norway, hit the nail on the head. She's the only leader who had the balls to say this, is that, you know, zero growth economy is, is, is kind of a global strife. Right now our economy is based on positive growth all the time. It has to grow. And with that, you, you've got, you, you, you're looking at a positive growth economy when you're looking at a, at a, 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 a like a, a, a static, a planet, you know, that has, has only so many resources, you know, uh, and, and, and uh, so, so if you if you look at positive growth at some point you're going to deplete all the resources you can't keep going there was a harper's yeah. magazine article back in the 1980s about the ratio of ceo salaries to the salaries average salaries of people who work under them it was around the world it was between 10 to 1 30 to 1 50 to 1 in north america it was 200 to 1 and it has grown since to about 800 to 1 the yeah. average, uh, uh, you know british columbia development corporation he was there for three months they downsized it his severance pay was was uh, four hundred thousand dollars you know um, uh, gordon campbell you know after uh, uh, three or hundred twenty five thousand dollars salary uh, you know uh, uh, pension most of these guys, most people are making a, a you know a thousand a month if they're lucky, you know, or, or fifteen hundred a month. You know, we we got to redefine the technic what a, a technocrat's place. You know, a technocrat I mean is people that run the economics, run the politics. We should not lose sight that on the planet right now there are over two billion people who are not even earning two dollars a day. We're talking of billions of people. There's a lot of I suffering. think what will happen with, with the years to come is that we're going to realize that we matter. We matter here in Canada. We matter in 
everywhere in Africa, in the Far East, and that we're not going to let ourselves get cranked up and start blaming some other people, some unknown people, for the issues that we've created for ourselves.